this Nidek. You will see that castle too. On another time, I will show you. Maybe this mist from the weather. That's how it looks when it was great. Yeah, before it fell apart, that's what it looked, uh, you know, during its peak this times. This recon reconstruction was before 1760. This castle was built on the century of 11, we, 1100? 1120. 1120. 1120. This is a top from that castle. I want to show you a few pictures around it. Had she done this in the summer, we might not have been able to get that, that view like what you can see there with some of the leaves gone. So I think it looks so pretty. Picked the perfect day to do that. So here comes the sun. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's just a stone. It, that's a gazebo. This was not. I don't know the name of that one. It must be a little church or so. It's a Pilgerstätte. Pilgerstätte, we say in German. I don't know the like English a, word. It's translated like a rest area for weary pilgrims. From Thomas well, you see that little um, town? It's called Streitberg. The farmers uh, lived over there 200 years ago or so. They had to work for that night. A little river, a lot of cars. On the weekend time, uh, many of people are visiting that part of, of Bavaria. Well, the farmers lived more than 200 years over here. They needed to build that castle and all. The church ring is over here. They have a many of churches over here too. This part is um, very Catholic. 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 Yeah. That is all from that castle. When the castle broke. The stones fall down and the people picked up the stones and built them their houses. And they cannibalized the castle and built it, some of their homes for it. Oh, look at that. It's a little window where we was over there. I walked down. And let's see what happened. Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the wall of that castle, I go up now. Up, up, up. <laughs> it's hard to do these up shots. They mix the neck hurt. Mm. That's Dita there. It's a little piece of him. Oh, so well, you can sit over here and watch it. I 
that's it now over here. And it seems like that. <laughs> when the sun is shining very strong. So, Castle Nidek again. I like the sun charts, who doesn't? Camera picks up beautiful colors. Okay. Doing a sun well, on that like wall, that. the people are climbs up. The mountain climbers. In the you can little drive to the forest and it's beautiful autumn colors. This is a German forest. See that? We have small trees over here. So we turn around. We must have street sweepers or something. And it's just so clean. Oh, God. <laughs> it appears they are on the other side of that valley now. Yeah. I'm standing now in front of the Bing Höhle. Well, you can go in there and watch the stalagmiten and Well, I don't know, stalagmiten and... I don't know what that is. Huh? Stalagmiten and stalagmiten. Stalagmiten and... Stalagmiten. <laughs> stalagmiten. <laughs> Can't help you. Don't know what it well, is. I mean <laughs> that stuff over there, you see? Crystal caves. They are so pretty. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's a big one. That's just beautiful. Steady. There this you go. one must be 100 million years old. That one is Tridebrook. So they are on the other side of the valley. We went a few minutes ago over there. So... You see that man over there? He's climbing on the wall. What I told you? That's a hard shot to get from that distance. Cool, huh? There comes another one. The mountain climbers. Oh, okay, how, how funny. Cold. Straight up. <laughs> Very tall rock. They have many of them over here. The tree. <laughs> well, that is the exit from the Bing Höhle. It's the other side of the cave. Well, you need to walk to that Bing Höhle or Bing Cave, about five minutes. And in that cave, you need about a half hour to watch it and to walk it. Yeah. So.
Well, I need five minutes. I walk very fast. Other people need eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> they are the climber again. Back at the mountain climbers. Well, this house have a hot liquor distillation. A cocktail lounge, you found. Y usually you go to a guest house and they have just about anything you want. So this one specializes in hard liquor, I guess, which would make it a cocktail cave lounge. Closer. Rather than a tavern. With the cave closer. You can sit in here and drink drink that hard liquor. Those are the bottles for that hard liquor. They are very pretty. Oh, look at that. What Almost that? too pretty to drink. Ooh. <laughs> cool, huh? A pumpkin. So, well, this is a trailer to the Binghöhle. A trail. We was just a few minutes over there. You're going to so. walk down a little trail. That is a sign again. In the Höhlenklaus where you can drink the hot liquor. I well, a few people like it. I don't like that stuff. I think they come at it from a different angle now. Yeah, it's a hard way to drink it. To drink. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, the wrong door. Oh, it's a ammonite over there. You see that? It's a fossil. Cool. Look how big I'll it make is. it bigger for you. So They make it in the houses over here because it looks very nice. Okay. Well, that is a uh, Streitberg, a street from Streitberg. Streitberg. I want to show you a few houses in that street. You see the old and the new. See in very modern cars. I don't know where all the people are. Maybe it's Sunday and maybe they're in church or something. I seen little towns like that in the United States that kind of look like that in uh, Missouri actually. It had a little flavor like that, narrow streets. But I don't think I've ever seen colors, autumn colors like that. Real intense. Everything is so well maintained. The street goes very high. See that? It's going uphill. The mountain. That's a real real time shot. There you go. So. Blue skies. <laughs> 